Hi guys and welcome and I've just watched Raw this week and all I've got to say is one word to the ending. Wow. <laughs> I don't believe it. What a way to end the show. Batista making his return out of nowhere and attacking Ric Flair on his 70th birthday. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe it. I heard no rumours, I had no hints whatsoever that Batista was going to be on the show, there was no indication that he was going to do anything, and I, all I've got to say is this has got to be one of the best swerves I've seen in a long, long time. I'm going to put this up there with Dean Ambrose turning heel and delivering Dirty Deeds to Seth Rollins on the same day that Roman Reigns announced he was battling leukemia. In terms of um, shocking, Batista attacking Ric Flair, I'll, I'll definitely put it up there with uh, Dean Ambrose's heel turn. It, it, this was just absolutely amazing. It was just absolutely shocking. And I'm not sure if anyone heard, but when Batista appeared he he got quite a big pop I, I i he got quite a big reaction and as he was dragging rick flair across the floor you know i could hear chance of batista's name so if this if this is the way that we're going to get the match with him and triple h for wrestlemania 35 and if this is how the build-up's going to start then you couldn't ask for anything better i mean what a way to kick off WrestleMania because I've felt pretty meh about the whole WrestleMania build up. It it doesn't feel like there's any drama to it. To me it just feels like another build up to a standard pay per view really. This it doesn't feel special but with Batista making his shocking return I will definitely say that this is the shot in the arm that WWE and especially WrestleMania need. This is this is definitely what they need to really kick things off. Now the interesting thing about this is people have been saying, Oh, Batista's turned heel, or oh, is Batista going to work as a heel? I've always said and I think I remember Batista saying this, that Batista works better as a heel. You know, I, I always said that Batista's best work was when he was a heel. I loved his heel work when he was part of Evolution back in 2002 to 5. Yeah, he was when he was a part of the group uh, where he didn't speak, but he let his actions speak for, him, for himself. I really enjoyed his heel work from two, late 2009 to 2010, where you know he was he was just going out there and just kicking ass really, and he, he was just an incredible heel. And I felt that his face run when he returned in 2014 was a complete disaster. I'm sure a lot of people would agree, and I think even Batista himself has said that it was a disaster. I wouldn't say that was Batista's fault, that was the fans and wanting Daniel Bryan, and Batista was kind of like the guy, uh, he was at the right place at the wrong time sort of thing, so he got a lot of unnecessary heat from the fans, but he redeemed himself by turning heel and reuniting with Evolution, so didn't turn out all bad but I think WWE have learned from their mistake and if Batista is working a heel for this for this program then that's it enough said you that's that's as good as you can get or ask or hope for and I can't wait to see how Triple H is going to address Batista's attack because the seeds were planted for this back in October for Smackdown 1000 when we had the full Evolution reunion and Batista took a little dig at Triple H saying, you've done it all except 
beats me. And you can clearly see that there was a little bit of tension, which kind of was like a, a little throwback to the the, the tease tension back in 2004 to 5 with these two. So, wow, th this 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 attack on Ric Flair was shocking. I wasn't really expecting this, but there's no better way to get heat than attacking, you know, a beloved legend like Ric Flair. And so we'll have to see, really. I'm, I'm also interested to hear how Batista is going to address his actions because at the end of the show, just before we went off the air, Batista said the words, do I have your attention now? Well, Batista, I think we can safely say you definitely have our attention now. Now, I'm not sure if Batista's going to be around just to do the one match at WrestleMania, then he goes, or is he going to stick around and do a couple of matches on Raw? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But I know Batista has said many times over that he wants one more match at WrestleMania, and it, he wants it to be with Triple H. And I think he kind of said that he wants it to be his final match before he hangs up his boots for good. Now, a lot of people have said that they don't want to see another Triple H-Batista match. Look, at the end of the day, if there's a good story, there's a good drama involved, then the match the match ain't going to be a five-star classic. We all know that. We know it's going to be slow. But if there's a good story to get behind behind on, then... I think it could work. I mean, it, I think it could be a huge match, quite frankly. I'm not sure if it's going to be a retirement match where Triple H finally gets the win and then retires him. I don't know, but we'll have to see. But I cannot wait to see where we go next. And all I've got to say, Batista, welcome back. And it's good to have you here. And I'm really interested to see where we go from here. So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, hit a like, do whatever you want. And I'll see you next time.